Okay, today we're going to be looking at doing a drawing based on John Virtue's work. This is uh, Landscape 707, which we're doing last lesson. Uh, as you can see, uh, lots of vibrant uh, tone in there. Uh, Virtue was influenced by Turner. He didn't use colour, he just liked to use basically a limited palette. Uh, so what we're going to do in terms of looking at his style and the Phoenix Theatre, we're first of all going to create a range of tone by creating small squares uh, going through the tone range from really dark to really light. As you can see here, maybe seven to nine squares. Darkest being really pressing down hard with the 2B. Okay, and gradually getting lighter so we can locate some of these tones on the picture. Virtue has a really, really good range of tone. Then we're going to start sketching out the uh, image of the Phoenix Theatre itself. I've got a really nice range of tone here. What I'm going to do is draw the Phoenix itself here. And straight away I can see that's a mid-tone. The bird is a mid-tone, so we put in the mid-tone here to establish the range, so I can put that in first. And then what we're going to do also is look for the lightest and darkest to give yourself a kind of a vantage point of which bits will be lightest and darkest. And then we just leave them as they are, we don't change them. If you do change them, make everything much, much darker, there will be problems occurring in the composition. So first of all, we're looking at the darkest part and I can see down here, there's a really dark window there. So that would correspond to this one, number one. Obviously number five or six would be the Phoenix itself. And the lightest part here, we can see is probably some of the uh, wall area. So what I'm going to do is basically, as Virtue would do, really, really smash in the darkest areas here. And to imitate his style, I'm actually going to use some atmospheric clouds into the background as well. Virtue didn't actually put in every finite detail uh, in terms of the buildings or in terms of surrounding trees, landscape, water, etc. So in terms of copying his style with the Phoenix Theatre, don't be too prescriptive. Don't try and get everything in. Just look mainly for atmosphere and tone. As you can see here, I've got that really dark range established now. I don't go any darker than that. And then we can look at the Phoenix itself, the actual letter form, which would probably be number two or three here. Really pretty dark, but not as dark as this area here. So we'll put this in. And what we're gradually going to do is build up the actual image itself and create an impression. That's what uh, Virtue always wanted to do, create an impression, as would Turner in the famous uh, sketch we saw the last lesson on the PowerPoint of the ship. He basically used the black and white version of Turner's colour, but he loved the atmospheric surroundings created by an impression that Turner created. He's copying that. So there we go. That's kind of like a dark tone, not as dark as the parts down here. And when we create some clouds as well, what Virtue would do, and what some of the students did in the last lesson, was to use the fingers to rub in some of the tone. I'm going to continue with this. The atmosphere will be created by rubbing as we've done here. And you can go over it afterwards as well like this and rub again. And you're creating that real atmospheric image. I'm going to continue with this. You'll observe me obviously using expressive marks, using a wide range of tone, not including every single finite detail, and obviously rubbing over the clouds to create different types of mark making, almost adding 
the atmosphere with my fan here. I'm going to continue to do, finish this drawing off and just observe the way I continue with it.